Okay, once we are there, I'm gonna click on products, all products, and I'm gonna click on the blue add product button. Okay, I'll wait. And here I'm gonna enter my product name. I'm gonna call it men's shirt. And I'm gonna enter here my little description, my dummy text. And here I'm gonna enter my category, my collection, men's shirts. And here I'm gonna upload the image for the product. Right over here. I'm gonna wait and wait. And I'm gonna choose this one, the black one. And I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna give it a price. I'm gonna give it the price 30 euros and the quality. Okay, uh, quantity, how many you got in stock, 100 in this case. And here I'm gonna add variants, that are, these are the vari variables. So I'm gonna enter a size, size S, size M, size L for large. And I'm gonna add another option, the color. I'm gonna enter here black. And green and white okay when that's done I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna enter the inventory for this product how many products you got in stock for each one for the S or the M or the L I and the colors so I'm gonna enter 100 for everything in this case I'm also gonna show you an application in the in the next lectures where you don't have to do all this stuff it's already set it up for you okay so uh, I will click on save product and I will wait and right over here I'm gonna enter my shirt I'm gonna Add an image. We need the green one, and I select the green one. And I'm gonna to click on save. And I'm gonna select the black one right over there. And I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna select the white one. And I'm gonna click on add image and select the white one. And I'm gonna hit save. Okay, that's great. So now we have set it up our variable product. Let's take a look at how it looks and what you can do with a variable product. We'll wait. Okay, that's great. We got our sizes right over here, S, M, and L. And you can also add other sizes. And here we got the colors, the different colors in green and white. So that's here right over here. And yeah, that's great. That's a variable product. So yeah, I will see you soon.